Hi, my name is Officer Gonzalez, and today I'll be conducting your citizenship interview. Um, how are you feeling today? I feel good and a little bit nervous. How is the weather outside? The weather is nice outside. Can I see your permanent resident card, your passport, and your ID, please? Yes, here they are. Thank you. Do you have your appointment letter with you? Yes. Can I see it, please? Yes, here it is. Thank you. Now, uh, can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Thank you. You can put your hand down. Now we're going to do the civic test. I'm going to ask you 10 questions, and you will need to answer at least six of them correctly. Okay. First question. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. Who vetoes bills? The President. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Kevin McCarthy. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. Okay, you approve this portion of the interview. Now we're going to do the reading and writing test. Please read the following sentence. Who elects Congress? Now please write the following sentence. The citizens elect Congress. The citizens elect Congress. The citizens elect Congress. Okay, congratulations. You also approved the reading and writing tests. What is your full legal name? Brenda Maria Martinez. Okay. What other names have you used in the past? Brenda Maria Martinez Lopez. Okay. What changes would you like to make to your name? I would like to remove my middle name. State your name as you would like it to be. Brenda Martinez. Okay. I'm just double checking. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. Okay. And what is your date of birth? October 24th, 1988. Mm -hmm. When did you get your permanent residency? That was in March 2018. Okay. How did you become a permanent resident? My father petitioned me. Okay, I see. Uh, what are the last four of social? Two, four, zero, eight. And what is your height and your weight? I am five feet. Five inches tall, and I weigh 140 pounds. What is your marital status? I am divorced. How many times have you been married? Only one time. Okay. Do you have any children? Yes, I do. Okay. How many children do you have? I have two children. Okay. Where do you currently live? 149 West Adams Boulevard, Los Angeles, California. How long have you lived there? For five years. 
Okay. Where do you live before? 382 West 6th Street, mm. Los Angeles, California. Okay. And what do you do for a living? I work for the school district. How long have you worked at your job? For three years. Tell me about your job. What do you do at your job? What are my job duties? Mm -hmm. I am a teacher's assistant at an elementary school. Okay. Thank you. What is the last day you travel out of the United States? That was on January 15th of this year. Okay, allow me a moment. Okay. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta. Ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. How long was this trip for? For 15 days. Where did you go? I traveled to Mexico. And when did you return? On January 30, 2023. How many trips have you taken out of the United States in the last five years? Six trips in total. And how many total days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? 50 days in total. Okay, one more question. Why do you qualify to be an American citizen? Because I meet all of the requirements and I always follow the law. That's a great answer. Please answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Can you tell me what a jail or prison is? A place for people who break the law. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics? Been married to more than one person at the same time? Married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Helped anyone to enter or tried to enter the United States illegally? Gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Fail to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Can you tell me what a habitual drunkard is? Someone who drinks too much alcohol. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party, any other totalitarian party, a terrorist organization? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail? Prison camp? Detention facility? Labor camp? 
any other place where people were forced to stay? No. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? No. Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any governments by force or violence? No. Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? No. Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? No. Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization? No. Can you tell me what a militia is? An unofficial army. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Why not? Why have you never voted? Because I am not a U.S. citizen. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? No. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? No. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces for any reason? No. Can you explain what cited means? Required to go to court. Give me one moment before we continue. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora. Ok, let's continue with the interview. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Can you tell me what the form of government of the United States is? A democratic republic. 
Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. And if the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Great. At this time, you have approved your citizenship interview. Muy bien, no olvides comentar cómo te fue con esta práctica y recuerda que si te gustaría estar lo mejor preparado posible, visita nuestra página cursosconfernando.com y adquiere nuestro curso ya.